a little over a week ago, I went to my first ever in-person public Magic the Gathering event, and I had a great time. Um, I tried to record a lot of it, but it was hard because I was masked and there was a lot of other people. So the following clips are what I took there, and then I'll talk a little bit after about my experience. I don't know. I don't know. Do I don't think we're allowed to do no, trades. I, I mean, not of. I mean, literally trading. Oh, well, you have the whole. You got a turn. Seventeen land rich kids, so it should be twenty-three or twenty-four. Land. Okay. <laughs> Look at this, what even is this? That's just a funny looking land. Different names among the basic students. Thanks, sorry. Alright. Well, I, like I don't like the way it's like the game's like, well, I don't want it to be like Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. 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 This, this thing is I don't want it to be like that. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's exactly. Okay, so round one, I was with another guy who was also very new to Magic. Um, so we only got through two of the three games we were supposed to play. We each won one, so it was a draw. So we both go on to the next round and continue to play. And I got the deck of cards because he says he doesn't collect them, so he's just going to let me have the cards. So good on Paul. Thanks, Paul. Okay, so I found out this isn't an elimination tournament. We just play three things, so that's great. Um, I lost my second round. The guy was very experienced, um, and I learned a lot more about my cards because I was playing them incorrectly. And it was really cool. We got this little promo and a shiny card that they just came around and gave to everybody. So that was cool, and I like the card. <laughs> so game three also a bust <laughs> i should know when i sat down and this guy had a play mat and all the fancy stuff i was like oh, this guy knows what he's doing but once again i learned more about my cards which was very important um i can see where in my deck building i could have changed some stuff around i, I kept not being able to get mana but um it was really nice for round three uh, the prize was two packs, and he was just like, do you just want to split it? We can each get one pack. And I was like, oh, thank you. That's great. So all in all, I ended up walking away with um, the deck, all the cards that I got from the booster, um, two decks uh, that they gave in the game. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is a super fun experience. Um, I've learned a lot more. I now have a new deck I can play with. Um, and I look forward to trying this more. I'm still very nervous. I still have a lot of adrenaline going, but yeah, that's that. I don't know. You guys have two really powerful decks, but I'm gonna eventually upgrade myself to the point where I can do all this too. Trust me. Oh yeah, no, I believe you. You seem to have all of this. Look at this. It's That's exactly what I'll do. You're just nailing it. I won. I did real good at Commander. <laughs> this makes up for the losses when I was demolished at the thing tonight, so. Okay, so final recap. If you are completely new to Magic the Gathering, I don't think an event like this would be great for you. But if you are newish, I actually had a great time. A draft release like this is great because everybody's kind of on a level playing field and it actually really inspired me to play more Magic the Gathering and to seek out um, more public events. I don't know if I'm ready for like an actual tournament yet, but... I'm intrigued. So I would highly suggest looking into these or going to your local gaming store and um, meeting some people and just kind of playing in public. It'll be a little bit more low stakes and you'll get some really great experience out of it.